Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter. I want to talk to you about how you can download all of your attachments in your Gmail account. Now, just to mention before I go forward with this, you got to do a couple of things in your Gmail account. If you want to connect from UiPath, you need to make sure that less secure apps is enabled and you've turned off two factor authentication. But if you've done that, well, you're ready to start downloading some of your attachments in Gmail using UiPath Studio. So I'm going to start from basic principles here and just start off with a blank prop process project and then I'm going to call it Gmail attachments and that's just going to be the project where I download Gmail attachments. A couple of things to note as I do this, inside your Gmail account you have to have gone into the manager Google account and the security section and in the security section you have to have two-step verification off, same with phone sign in. And more importantly, a lot of people forget this, you have to have less secure apps turned on. If that's not turned on, you won't be able to connect to Gmail from UiPath and it won't give you a very good error message. So you won't know what's going on. Just so you know, I got one, two, three, four, five, six emails in here, three of which have attachments in them. It's these three attachments that I wanna have downloaded when I run my UiPath application. So how do we do this? Well, I'll start off by opening the main workflow window. I want to connect to Gmail and that means Going in here, finding app integration for mail. There's nothing specifically for Gmail, but you can just select get IMAP messages. Drop that over here and fill out all of the required fields. So it's gonna to go to inbox, the port is 993. That doesn't have to be in double quotes, but I think everything else has to be. So imap.gmail.com is the server. The email address, what is the email address that I'm using? I think it's rpa at gmail.com so there it is rpa at gmail.com and that has to go in quotes boy i almost forgot that i keep forgetting about the quotes here um, and then when i do put everything in quotes i end up putting the um, i end up putting the 993 in quotes which you're not supposed to do and then that just causes all sorts of other problems so okay we've got the quotes there the password is 100th meridian which is part of a tragically hip song and the m is uppercase and let me see i'm not going to uh, read only unread messages you might want to do that if you've got a big gmail account you probably don't want to bring in 10,000 emails um, but i've only got six here so i'm deselecting that now i do need a variable here to hold all of the messages so i can pass it around inside of this process so i'm going to create a new one called email messages it's gonna be of type list, and it's the generic list. So you can see the generic list with the parameter T. I gotta fill that T in and say that it's actually a mail message object that all of those things are gonna be held in. So a couple of little things that need to be configured there. But that saves my variable. It's got scope in the sequence. And right here, when the get IMAP mail messages happens from Gmail, I want to take all the message and store it inside of that variable. So this variable that I got created here gets set here as part of the, the output of the functioning of this get IMAP mail messages process. So that gets me all of the Gmail emails. Um, something I like to do right after I've got all the emails from Gmail is just, you know, have some visual verification that things are working. So I like to just have a, a, a message box come up for each of the emails. Now, if I want each of the emails, I need to actually put a control element here where I loop through each of them. So I add in the for each. And for each, I'm gonna change item to email and for each email in mail messages email messages that's the variable we created for each email and email messages i want to display the subject line in a message box now one thing i need to make sure of here i've set the value that we're looping through to be email messages but it defaults to object as the type. You need to change that to mail message. Otherwise you don't get dot base notation access to different properties of the email. And this is what I mean. Like if so, if I go in here and I drag the message box over onto this activity, so go through all of the emails and email messages, and I want to display the emails subject as a string. And you can see the dot notation is giving me all of the different options. If you didn't specify mail messages, the type there, you wouldn't get that 
um, dot notation smart sense thing but also if you tried to run it you would end up getting a late binding exception so just be careful there now this doesn't download all of the attachments in order to download the attachments i have to add another activity so i'll click here and i'll type in save and i should get save attachments and it's going to say well what do you want to save the attachments of and of course i want to save the attachments that are associated with each email in this for each so i'm going to say go into each email here and where are we going to save these well what's the name of this project that i just created it was uipath and i think it was called gmail attachments and inside here i'm going to create a new folder i'm not going to be very creative i'm just going to call it attachments and i'm going to select that as the destination it didn't put the full path in here because if you make the folder relative to the project it just uses the relative name you could say c colon slash user slash my documents whatever but uh, no need to do that right here and i think this is all working again i always like to go up here and just make sure that everything's in quotes because i always forget to do that you know make sure i've specified that object the 993 doesn't have to be in quotes and again i always like to go over here and make sure it's specified mail message there but i think i'm done so i'm going to click save and then I'm going to click run. And as this runs, I should get a little message up every time it goes through an email. This just tells me that it's running. This wasn't necessary, but yeah, you see the subjects for each of these different emails coming up. But more importantly, if I go into my UI path folder and look for the, the project, look inside the project that I just created called Gmail attachments, there it is right there, Gmail attachments. You notice that I've got this folder called attachments and watch this magic, boom, right there. One, two, three PDF files. And those PDF files map to the one, two, three, boom, PDF files that are inside of my Gmail account. So there you go. That's how easy it is to connect to Gmail and download all the attachments onto your local machine. And there you go, that's how easy it is to download your attachments using UiPath Studio. If you're interested in learning more, head over to theserverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on UiPath and UiPath Studio over there, plus lots of stuff to do with just enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.